I rise in support of House Resolution 971 and appreciate the efforts of Mr. Gordon to bring the resolution forward. Mr. Speaker, my colleagues have spoken about being on the ground and seeing firsthand the devastation. And of course, Congressman Tanner, Congressman Cohen, and I all have counties that were affected by this. In my district, I have nine counties that saw devastation and destruction with the impact of this EF4 tornado. We had Shelby County, Fayette, McNary, Hardin, Hickman, Perry, Wayne, Williamson, and Montgomery County each saw devastation, destruction of property, and loss of life. And Mr. Speaker, indeed, we extend our condolences to those families who have lost their lives and to their loved ones uh, who have seen that loss of life. And we also, we also extend our condolences to those families who have lost their livelihood because indeed, as has been stated, the destruction is unimaginable. I have a poster right here from Sunday afternoon when we were in Hardin County at Sharon Baptist Church which was a wonderful church and school. It was completely obliterated. All six buildings on the campus of that church were obliterated. And while you see the destruction that is just unimaginable, what you also see is the rising of the human spirit and neighbors who are reaching out to help. I asked Dr. Spencer, who pastors that church, what next? How did they move forward? Because they had nothing left. They had a hymnal that was found two counties over, but other than that, nothing left. And he said, well, tomorrow morning, we start to rebuild. And tomorrow morning, we're going to be pulling out the scrap metal, and we're going to be moving the rubble to the street. And tomorrow morning is a new day. And that is the spirit that we see of individuals pitching in, neighbors coming to help. Now, they've also been so well supported by FEMA, by Director Pollison, by TEMA, and the team that is on the ground by our state and local elected officials who didn't sit around and wait for someone to say they're coming to take care of it. They took action and said, we're going to get this done. It has been a wonderful testament to the volunteer spirit of our great state of Tennessee, and I commend all of those who have served, who have shown up to help, and again, extend my condolences to those who have lost family members and have lost the means of their livelihood 